So what's next for Rogers and Associates? I know you said you've got a couple of books churning <laughs> in your brain. Uh, what direction are you going in next with the firm? Well, I think for the firm, uh, we have done a great job with individuals. Uh, most of our clients, if not all of them, are individual relationships. Uh, we've worked with them before they retired, through retirement. And I think a natural transition for us, uh, and what I think would help a lot of people, would be to take our philosophy into the retirement plan market, to become advisors to 401k plans, uh, working with the employees before they're ready to retire so that we can educate them about uh, not selling, not panicking out when the market goes down, how to save tax efficiently to build the new three-legged stool when you're still 10, 15, or 20 years out from retirement when making small changes to your portfolio can make uh, a big difference uh, tax-wise as well as success-wise. So I think that's the next place that we need to go with the firm. Uh, on a personal level, um, I know the new three-legged stool is going to need to be updated someday. Someday the, uh, the tax laws are going to change and it's going to have uh, need new strategies, still implementing the new three-legged stool, but just how do we get there under the new tax laws. So that's probably going to happen, and I don't really have any control over that because that's going to be up to Congress and, and tax laws. Uh, but my next book is going to be about retiring, uh, what retirement should look like, in my opinion, or from a scriptural standpoint. And my working title is A Scriptural View of Retirement because uh, I don't think God created us to live a life of leisure, and that's what retirement has become in our society is, uh, is the leisure class where we stop working and now we play golf and we travel and, and whatever it is that we want to do. Uh, I think that we were made to work, and I think that we find fulfillment in being working. Uh, I just think that we should focus on financial independence so that we don't have to work for money. To get to the point where you have enough money that you can live your lifestyle uh, the way you want it without having to work for the dollar so that you could then spend your life working in a volunteer capacity, if that's something that you enjoy, maybe staying in your profession uh, if you like doing that and just doing less of it just to keep your hands in it and keep your mind fresh uh, and doing something to still be productive even after you're 60 or 65 but no longer having to work for money.